Ever wondered why some dishes taste so good they seem to melt in your mouth? It's not salt, not sugar, not sour, and definitely not spicy. That magical flavor is called umami, often known as the fifth taste. In 1908, a Japanese scientist named Kikunai Ikeda was studying kombu seaweed, a popular ingredient in Japanese broths. He noticed it had a rich, savory depth of flavor, but it didn't fit any of the known taste categories. It wasn't sweet, salty, sour, or bitter. It was something entirely different. Ikeda eventually isolated the compound behind that taste, glutamic acid, a type of amino acid. He realized that when combined with sodium, it formed monosodium glutamate, or MSG. And with that, the concept of umami, the fifth taste, was officially born. In 1909, Ikeda patented the substance and started selling it commercially under the name Ajinomoto, which means essence of taste. It quickly became a kitchen staple across Japan and later all over Asia. Cooks loved it because just a pinch could bring out deep, savory flavors in soups, noodles, meats, and more. But the story took a turn in the 1960s. Reports of a strange reaction after eating Chinese food, headaches, sweating, and dizziness, led to what was called Chinese restaurant syndrome. MSG was blamed and the fear spread like wildfire. However, decades of scientific studies have shown no solid evidence linking MSG to serious health problems in normal amounts. Today, MSG is approved by the FDA and many global health bodies and is widely used in foods from instant noodles, in chips to canned soups, and even plant-based meats. So the next time a bite of food makes you go, mmm, it might just be umami at work. And for that, we can thank science, seaweed, and one brilliant Japanese scientist.